Philippines is actually a country that tries to reserve the opportunities for their locals and that's quite understandable but difficult on us foreigners. <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl christine on another video it's really nice to have you back on my channel if you're returning and if you're new i'm also so excited to have you here today do me a favor by subscribing to my channel so you can be part of this my little youtube family and like this video if you enjoy it leave a comment if something crosses your mind while you're watching the video so i'll be talking about the things i wish i knew before coming to the philippines you know whenever you're visiting a new place or maybe you're relocating to a new country or you're going to school far away from home there are certain informations you need to know you need to be aware of before moving before even processing before applying to study in that country that wasn't my case actually i was so busy with my diploma i didn't make research about the philippines i didn't ask the right questions and it happened so fast i just found myself here in the philippines like do i landed and i was like what so this is my new life now and i had to adapt to everything so if you have plans of coming to school here in the philippines or you've probably enrolled you've been taking up the course in nigeria or in your country but now you have to come into the country because face-to-face -face classes will be starting soon i'll be giving you few things i'll be listing out few things you should be aware of you should be informed on and this is like basically on my own experience it differs for people but if you can relate to anything i'll be talking about today take note of them and make sure to not make the same mistake as i did so the first thing i wish i knew about is actually their educational system ah uh, yeah i'm a first year medical student i finished my bs in biology in 2020 and now i'm taking up medicine i'm in my first year i'm rounding up and by the special grace of god but by august i'll be a second year student so the educational system hmm. It's actually fair, but for medical students, the coverage is actually very, very bulky. Very bulky, very large, and limited time. There's a lot of things for you to cover. And generally, for all courses, you'll probably be writing quizzes from Monday to Fridays or every Mondays. I don't know how it's going to be done in your school. So you need to confirm, you need to ask questions try to contact somebody who can give you the right information on how your school system is so you can be, you can be prepared you know you can be ready and also something about their system is they hardly write theory exams if you're like me from africa from nigeria where we write a lot of theory exams get ready get prepared you'll be meeting multiple choice questions here little or no theory exams at all so be prepared and try to get ready for the transition okay yes that's the first point especially for medical students know that <laughs> you're going to be stressed out you probably won't have a lot of weekends to party or, or to chill or to relax but you're going to have to find that balance another thing i wish i was informed of is actually the annual renewal of visa the first time i told my mom about it she was like are you serious is it not supposed to be a one-time something and i've heard other people say the same thing people in other parts of the world in different countries they are like no here we actually just do it once maybe for four years or something well here in the philippines we actually renew our visa yearly i wish i was informed about that because a lot of money is actually going into visa renewal on a yearly basis like it's not funny so you need to be informed about that you need to tell your parents they need to know that every year they'll be spending about 16,000 pesos with the presence rate it's about 170,000 naira so I really wish I was informed about that I've been renewing my visa and God has been faithful so I've not had any visa problems yes but beware be informed 
let your parents know about that now the next thing i wish someone told me about is actually what to bring oh god i didn't even prepare like when i came i just came with my clothes i wish i was informed to bring more trousers since i'll be having a hard time getting my size or my length here in the philippines it's been quite difficult quite stressful for me to get trousers my size and my length but actually i've figured out some online stores like Shein order my size and my length from also shoes ah if someone had told me to come with a lot of shoes i probably would have come with a lot of shoes from nigeria because i wear a size 42 and most of their online stores like shopee lazada they're very very difficult very very difficult for you to see your size so if you know you're like me maybe you're tall and you have a big foot come with shoes from your country so you don't have to stress over buying shoes here in the philippines and also come with a black shoe for medical students you're going to be in fact i think all courses i think all departments actually need black shoes to come with black shoes you can come with two pairs three pairs four pairs so you don't have to buy any till you're done if it's cheap in your country buy them and come with them i also wish i was informed to come with a lot of nigerian ingredients nigerian foodstuffs like the suya spice pepper soup size oziza ah i wish i came with them so if you like african dishes you love cooking your own food look for means look for ways of preserving those ingredients and come with them because they are actually very hard to get and if you do get them they are very very expensive i wish someone told me to come with a lot of cosmetics like foundation that is my color powder that is my color ah oh, lipsticks all those things all those nice nice cosmetics in nigeria they're actually light skin they are pale brown close to being white so it's very hard for you when the normal shades of foundations and powders are actually their skin tone so you're going to have a problem looking for yours so if you can actually buy a lot of them from Nigeria, a lot of cosmetics that you like, do that and come with them so you don't have to struggle or look for ways of getting them. The next thing I wish I was informed on is racism. Now racism is not much of a big deal here in the Philippines, but prepare your mind or expect little discriminations here and there from one or two people. Who don't like you because of the color of your skin because you have more melanin popping prepare your mind for that it's not actually as intense as it is in other countries in US in Poland in UK but there's actually a little bit of racism here in the Philippines and it's not so open like it's not out there but some people might just treat you in a way discriminate you close their nose when they see you to kind of make you feel like you're smelling or spit when they see you things like that i wish i was informed because i was actually in nigeria in my own bubble where i'm loved i'm actually appreciated my skin color is appreciated ah treated as a tall beautiful dark-skinned lady for coming here that was not always the case some people did not really treat me nice some people discriminated me i actually had problem getting housed because of the color of my skin and stuff like that so just be aware you might be discriminated you might lack certain privileges that the locals actually have access to because you are dark skinned there are a lot of people who have been here for years and never for once were they discriminated or did they experience racism here in the Philippines. So you might be lucky or you might not be. <laughs> like me, I've had my own fair share of it. You can check out my video on a Filipinos racist. You can check it out and you can hear my own experience of racism here in the Philippines. But actually most of them are not racist. Like racism here is just like a drop a drop of it so yeah just prepare your mind for that another thing i wish i was informed of is actually opportunities job opportunities for black people for foreigners generally i think maybe people from us white people might have more access to these opportunities compared to black people 
black people it's very hard for us to get jobs here as little as being a waitress or a waiter in a restaurant you cannot get that it's very difficult i have never seen a black waitress here in the philippines and i know of a lot of people that have tried to apply or they didn't get it philippines is actually a country that tried to reserve the opportunities for their locals and that's quite understandable but difficult on us foreigners so if you're coming here with the intentions or the plans of schooling and working you might actually be able to work if you have a working visa but you cannot have a working visa and have a student visa it's either you work or you study but there are actually opportunities for freelancers maybe writing jobs online and other opportunities like that something i would advise to anyone coming here is if you have a skill work on it work on it very very well if you know how to cook work on it if you know how to braid work on it because in the end those skills are actually going to pay off for you here in the philippines but if you're talking about other kinds of jobs it's going to be very hard for you to get one lastly the cost of living the cost of living here in the philippines is actually not so high in one of my videos where i talked about the reasons why i love the philippines i mentioned it there that it's actually not hard for you to live here in the philippines it all depends on where you're going to stay if you're in the bigger cities you're going to spend more if you are in the provinces or the lower class cities you're going to live a comfortable life i'm actually comfortable where i am and life is actually quite easy for me another reason for me to thank god i've been surviving i've been living comfortably here so yes cost of living here depends on your location your school and how much you'll be receiving from home if some of you are independent and maybe you might have to fend for yourself you might want to keep this in mind i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up leave a comment on me in the comment section and share share it so that people can be aware people can be informed okay thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you in my next video bye